Quilty is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Hovel, when you need to cut it close, choose Hovels. Quiltology, the urban quilt space. Quilty. So we've turned my apartment here into a bit of an impromptu set because you're here to talk about hand quilting, yeah. which is so great. Thanks for asking me to be on your show. You're welcome. Well, thanks for coming on. You gave me the best metaphor for uh, hand quilting versus machine quilting. Can you can you tell the nice people about that? Sure, sure. Well, um, you know, machine quilting and hand quilting are both great ways to turn your quilt top into a quilt. Mm -hmm. And they're both very legitimate, they're both great ways. But I like to think of hand quilting as kind of like going for a walk for pleasure. Mm -hmm. Because you can walk in the woods or walk in a park, you have your thoughts, but your, your uh, sort of communing with the world you 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 know you, you don't have to concentrate so much on it's your hand it's a meditative thing exactly exactly mm -hmm. but if you need to get somewhere in a hurry then you're going to get in your car and go there and that's machine quilting so if you have the time to hand quilt a quilt it's a wonderful wonderful way to finish a quilt it's kind of like knitting you can talk with people you can watch television or listen to television you could listen to a book on tape mm -hmm. you don't have to have your eyes right on that sewing machine needle so yeah. that's kind of the way they're both great ways to get to a distant destination one just takes a little bit longer I like it I like it so so you brought an example of a hand quilted, uh, this is a little wall hanging yes. you did years and years ago. Years ago. And I had to kind of hunt around to find something that I had hand quilted because most of my quilts get sent out for people to machine quilt for right. me because they're for publication. Right. This is a little angel applique that I uh, did for an applique demo. Mm -hmm. And I did hand quilt this wall hanging and I quilted around the applique elements mm -hmm. and that kind of puffed out those applique elements and made them prettier. I also hand quilted uh, around the the block itself. If you're machine quilting or hand quilting, do you still call that stitching in the ditch? Yes. Stitching in yes. the ditch? Yes. Okay. They're very much the same. I mean, the qualities are all very much the same. Mm -hmm. One just is longer and done by hand, mm -hmm. one is shorter, done by machine. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the these setting pieces, I actually uh, drew a pattern, mm -hmm. a, a little, I think I might have made this up myself, mm -hmm. a bow, and if you looked very, very closely, you could see that it was marked with a pencil, mm -hmm. and then I quilted right on those lines. Does pencil them. wash out? Does it wash out? Uh, yeah, and I have never washed this, but I tried to mark with a very thin line so that my thread would cover it. And But, but uh, there are fabric pencils and yes. fabric pens that are better, yes. cause so yes. using a pencil maybe not as good yes. as using something that washes out. Right. right. Test it. Yeah. Test it. So that's my little little uh, hand quilted wall quilt. It's really really cute. Um, the hand quilting when it when it's done, the, the hand quilting versus machine quilting, it's really it's neither one is better like you were no. saying. But but there is something about a hand quilted quilt. It is maybe it's been worked over a little bit more with your hands, obviously. So it might feel a little um, more supple. Perhaps. A little more supple. Um, but again, you know, if it takes you five years to make a supple quilt, <laughs> you might just want to you know go with the machine and have a slightly like this much less supple quilt that it's is actually finished. finished. Yes, right. <laughs> so I just want to show uh, before we talk about machine quilting in the next episode, uh, I want to talk about just setting up for hand quilting. Okay. Just a, a quick demo about how to get started if you want to hand quilt something. So I dug this out of my unquilted quilt projects. Mm -hmm. I don't have very many. Yeah. She, but this is, she doesn't. Have I don't. Many. I usually finish my projects. But um, this is a little nine patch crib quilt. Mm -hmm. It's just very simple blocks and setting blocks. And I have a red backing. I thought red would be neat. I could use red quilting thread because mm -hmm. the stitches are going to show on the back. And oh, so wait, you use red quilting thread and whatever, if you're hand quilting, the thread that you're using to hand quilt, you're going to use the same color as what your backing fabric yeah, is. Or, or I use a real busy print because I know my stitches on the back are not going to look as good and so I'm hiding them. I mean, it's just a little trick. Just sort of use something that's chem camouflaging or forgiving on the back so it doesn't stand out so much. Tricky. So I cut my backing bigger mm -hmm. than my quilt top mm -hmm. and I put it on the floor. I use some, just some painter's tape to tape it down mm -hmm. and make it taut. Mm -hmm. And then I put my batting, this is a cotton polyester, mostly cotton batting. Mm -hmm. Then I put the quilt top on top and I just used a, just some ordinary cotton sewing thread to base some um, anchoring stitches just to hold the sandwich together smoothly. A basting stitch will be cut away. It's sewn very loosely. It's just mm -hmm. sort of whipped through to, to, to stabilize things. That's right. what basting means. Right. Just to, just to sew it together so that nothing shifts. You wouldn't want the top right. and the back to shift while you're quilting. Mm -hmm. Then I have a hand quilting hoop there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you go to the sewing store to buy hoops or any kind of variety store, don't get an embroidery hoop. That's a very thin hoop for mm -hmm. a single layer of fabric for embroidery. They're small. They're usually plastic. Right. They right. can be plastic or wood. Yeah. You want a nicer hoop. This one, I actually, when I taught quilting in Australia, I bought it there. So very it's cool. very kind of a memento for me. Mm -hmm. So it, there you hold that part. I'm going to put this part underneath. The smaller goes mm -hmm. underneath. You start in the middle. Ring. I kind of shoot in for the middle here. 
Then I put the bigger ring on top, and you want to do this on a hard surface like a table or down on the floor because you want the back to be smooth. So let's really check. I might have to tighten this a bit. You always start in the middle? I do. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay. So we look back here and we make sure, and it looks great. See, it's nice and smooth. No yep. ripples in mm -hmm. it. Okay. So now I find my spot, and I actually marked this ahead. It's a little uh, drawn line. I just used a pencil and a, a straight fabric, edge, a fabric, a fabric pencil. pencil. Okay, then I have my quilting thread. Oh, I already threaded my needle just because we want to keep these little and, episodes short. And you used a hand quilting needle. They're different from other needles you might have in your sewing box. You need to use a hand quilting needle. Uh, it has to do with the thickness and the length. So make sure you get hand quilting needles. Or you might just make it harder for yourself. You right. don't use other needles, but it would just maybe not be quite well, as much fun. Uh, we also, the hand quilting needle is sometimes referred to as a between. And I'm going to show it to the camera here. It's a really short kind of mm -hmm. thick needle because it's going to be under lots of pressure right. rather than a thin needle that you want to do applique with. So this is important. Everybody wants to know how to start. Yeah. So I want to start stitching right here at the corner of this block. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to slide my needle in at a different location and come up like I'm coming up. I can, I can put, go, go through cyberspace there yeah. in the batting. Okay, so it's not coming. I can't feel it on the bottom. So I come up and I've knotted my thread. And so I come up and I use my fingernail to kind of help pop that through. To hide it. And now I'm ready to start stitching. And I'm going to stitch on my line. Some very accomplished quilters wouldn't even need to draw a line. They're just so used to quilting sure. straight. Okay, so I put, I've got my thimble on. You have to wear a thimble if you're going to hand quilt. Because it hurts to push oh, the yeah. needle through. I start my first stitch with my fingernail. That's just my own little way. And once I make that first stitch, I mm -hmm. put my thimble on. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to rock the needle back and forth, driving it with my thimble. I take a look at my stitches, see if they're okay. And you do about three? About three or four. Mm -hmm. Depends on how small they are. And these yeah. are, I used to be able to quilt smaller than this, but you know. That's like the big thing is like how many stitches can you get per inch in your hand quilting, but you know, don't I'll worry about it. I'll just load my needle a little bit more. Quilty. And I know everybody wants to know also how to end. Yeah. So if I'm ready to, I wouldn't end here probably, right. but if I were, I would sew through a loop and then bring that loop down close to the surface so I've got a knot on top. Then I make another fake stitch right here. So I, I just went forward a little bit so you toward make myself. A knot, you make a knot on top. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna just, see that oh, little yeah. knot? I'm just gonna you pop won't. that in. And then I would take my scissors mm -hmm. and I would cut them. The dog took the scissors, I, I guess. So. Is I would just cut that off, very careful not to mm -hmm. cut the top of the quilt, and then it would be finished. That's so that's, awesome. that's hand quilting. I mean, you could, there are books about it, but that's just the very sheer basics. Thank you for showing the basics, and thanks for um, coming over to my little Chicago apartment set here. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, make sure you check the Quilty blog, and make sure you watch the second part of this two-part Quilty episode. Uh, we're going to talk about machine quilting next, and Mom's going to help out with that, too. See ya. Quilty is brought to you by APQS, Handcrafted Quilting Machines, Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Hovel, when you need to cut it close, choose Hovels. Quiltology, the urban quilt space.